it's it's of course taking a toll on our communities and um you know it, it's it's very difficult to to have to go through this And we've been through this before with Quebec City in 2017 and of course the ongoing um, acts of violence that we've seen against, for example, Muslim women in Alberta. Uh, we've seen um, vandalism, we've seen harassment. It confirms the fact that Islamophobia is endemic among uh, substantial pockets of Canadian society. And the only way to resolve it is to confront the fact that it is now endemic among certain sections of Canadian society and to stop pretending that it's just random individuals. Islamophobes have convinced a substantial number of their fellow citizens that Islam represents an existential threat to their society. Once you've convinced somebody that Muslims are an existential threat to your society, then there's no such thing as a law-abiding or peaceful Muslim. This person represents a direct and immediate threat to your existence, so you are going to kill that person, or potentially kill that person, regardless of what the criminal punishment is, because in your brain, you think this person is out to destroy you. I want to see is all the, the leaders of all the major political parties, provincial and federal, unite in not only denouncing this particular crime, but denouncing the ideology of Islamophobia that justified it, right? And stop, you know, targeting Muslims for specific legislation, like we see in Quebec, um, on pretextual grounds, when in fact, it's rooted in fear of Muslims. What we need to ask ourselves is how are our local institutions dealing with hate? What space is available to talk about this? How can we better examine our law enforcement to ensure that they are investigating reports of hatred and where people are not comfortable reporting to police due to tr mistrust, due to fear? Um, is there a way to introduce third party reporting in our communities to monitor this as we, as we are dealing with this? It is a time to consider doing what New Zealand did after Christchurch and opening up a public inquiry to examine uh, the rise of hate and the response to hate. How are our public institutions responding to this growing threat?